Hello everyone and welcome on De Papier de Rêve channel. I'm Ursula and today I will be painting with you a flower from a sedum. This plant is on uh, my uh, balcony uh, here in Barcelona, uh, but uh, it originally is from uh, the north of France, uh, from my mother's garden. She has uh, a lot of uh, crassulas and cactuses. And uh, last summer, I just took uh, some uh, sedum and cactuses uh, in a little box and it make the journey with me uh, uh, to uh, Barcelona. So I have some uh, crassula and cactuses also here. And I, I can say that they are growing quite well here. And uh, this one has decided to uh, make some flower. So that's what I will be painting uh, today with you. I've started this painting by placing the flower uh, just because um, I wanted to be sure uh, to have the flower in the right place so I prefer to start with it uh, and I may uh, blur it uh, a lot uh, with this first layer uh, but that's totally okay. Uh, the color is in the right place and that's all that matters. And for the flower, I'm using uh, Indian yellow uh, from Ezaro. It's a really warm yellow and the perfect uh, color uh, for this flower. And for the foliage, I'm using a mix of manganese blue and Indian yellow. And I get this really uh, pretty uh, turquoise color, mint. Uh, it's really the perfect color for uh, this plant. Uh, and I think it's, uh, it looks really, really good. There is one thing I really like a lot uh, with uh, this uh, flower and uh, this plant. Uh, it's the terracotta pot that uh, it's in it. Uh, the color of the terracotta is completing really well uh, the foliage and uh, the flower. So that's why I'm using this color uh, in the background in order to make uh, the plant pop a little bit and uh, and building a contrast uh, between a warm color and a cool color will uh, just uh, make all the color shine and that's what I want uh, here in this painting. The background color is composed from transparent red oxide wi mixed with uh, transparent uh, pyrrole orange uh, and I can get this really warm color uh, with this mix with a little bit of red in it uh, that is uh, just a little bit better than just transparent red oxide that can be a little bit more brownish. And to this uh, background, I'm adding uh, some dots of um, granulating medium because transparent red oxide is a really granulating color. And I wanted to just accentuate that uh, in order to have some uh, texture in the background. And when I'm using a granulating medium, I do not forget to uh, just make the, the color uh, flow and travel a little bit because the, it's the movement that will uh, make the granulating medium work a little bit better. Uh, so I'm moving uh, quite a lot uh, my paper uh, so that uh, the granulating can show really well in, in the background. And I will let this layer dry totally before adding some details. And as you can see, uh, it's a really, really a soft uh, first layer and everything is quite blurry. So for my second layer, I wanted to start uh, by adding some details in the foliage. I want to add some shapes to this uh, very particular foliage. The leaves are quite bold uh, and I want for you to, to see that. So I'm adding some shadows and I try to um, make them appear very round and very juicy. Uh, and for that I'm just using the same mix as uh, before uh, with manganese blue and uh, Indian yellow. Uh, and I'm just trying to get a little bit more pigment and less water on my brush in order to have a darker color. And in order to have this uh, feeling of uh, really bold and round uh, leaves, uh, I'm applying a color on one side and then I'm uh, softening it a little bit on the other side so that you can see that the shape is really, really round. 
I'm also variegating the color each time I go back in my palette uh, in order to have uh, some rich colors into uh, the foliage, uh, some colors that are a little bit more blue and some colors that are a little bit more green. And uh, as uh, the foliage has uh, this little uh, dot of red at the top, uh, I'm trying to add that uh, with uh, this uh, dagger brush. Uh, and so I'm adding a, a tiny dot of red at the top of the foliage and then I'm softening it a little bit. But be careful when you do that because red and green are complementary color and if you mix them a little bit too much, they will appear a little bit muddy. So when I'm uh, softening uh, this red dot, I really try to not uh, move the pigment too much, just a tiny little bit so that it's soft, uh, but really not too much. And now it's time to add some details into the flower. And I'm using uh, again this uh, dagger shape uh, brush uh, in order to do that with uh, some Indian yellow. Uh, this uh, shape of a brush is really perfect for making uh, this star shape uh, flower. It really works really well. And I'm adding a tiny bit of uh, transparent pyrrole orange into the flower in order to give it a uh, little bit more depth and uh, definition to it. For this video, I've decided to change things up a little bit and I'm not making uh, a segment in the middle of uh, the video with all my supplies, uh, but I prefer to uh, just indicate what supplies I'm using uh, when first I'm using it uh, so that it's a little bit more fluid into the video. And if you are uh, searching for my supplies, they are always available uh, in the description box just below the video and also on my blog. I wanted to add a little bit more uh, red into the background because it dry really really light in the first layer and I wanted to uh, just uh, activate it a little bit more uh, so that the contrast between uh, the foliage and the background is a little bit uh, stronger. So I'm adding the same mix uh, at, as in the first layer, uh, transparent red oxide with a transparent uh, pyrrole orange. Uh, but this time I'm trying to uh, just indicate that there is something going on on the background with the, the mix. Uh, I'm not trying to have a really smooth gradient uh, until the top of the painting, uh, but I'm trying to just uh, indicate that there is other plants uh, behind uh, this uh, sedum uh, by adding some shapes with my brush. It's a bit like if I was uh, painting a ghost image of uh, this sedum in the background with just one color. And to uh, finish things uh, a little bit more, I will add some uh, splashes of uh, this uh, blue, uh, this uh, turquoise color, into the background in order to just have uh, another part of the painting where there is this turquoise color in order to uh, make, uh, make them speak uh, to, together, these two parts of the painting. And I soften uh, the dots of color if they are a little bit too much. And, and that's it. I think adding uh, these uh, dots of blue into the red make it uh, pop uh, a little bit more. And this video is ending. Thanks for watching and I hope you like it. Please check the blog post for more information about it. And of course, tell me what you think in the comments. See you soon.